Praise the Lord. Uh, I just want to thank the Lord for you who's joining me in this video. I believe you're here for a purpose. I believe that God has called you for a purpose. I believe that God ordained you for a purpose. You did not be born again to suffer. You did not come to Jesus to be a villain. No, you came to Jesus so that you may have peace. Not a peace like the world gives, but a peace that you must have if you have Jesus. When you have Jesus, you have a peace like the world cannot give. In the world, things have to be okay. Family has to be okay. Friends have to be okay for us to have peace. But in Jesus, even in the midst of turmoil, we have peace. This is the peace that Jesus gives. And if you don't have it, seek the Lord, come back to him and rest so that you can hear from him and find the peace that the world cannot give. During the storm, the Lord did nothing with the ark that Noah was in. During the storm, there was silence. During the storm, when there is turmoil and everything was going on, the Lord was silent. But when the storm calmed, there was an action from the Lord. It was until the storm was over that the Lord responded. Is the storm so fierce? Is what you're going on so fierce? Well, the Lord might not speak, but after the storm, he's going to say a word. And in the storm, for you to hear him, you have to have peace. And what are you hearing from him? You are hearing the things that he has been telling you even before the storm came. You are hearing all the things that he promised. When the storm is so fierce, our divine ears sometimes shut because we are going through a lot. But with what Jesus told you, with what you know, what they taught you, what you understand concerning you and the calling God has gave you, will give you peace through the storm. And after the storm, the voice is going to be more clear, not because he was silent, but because you were so taken up with what is going on to hear from him. During the time that Noah was passing through the storm, it was what the Lord said that carried him through. Then after the storm, the Lord spoke a new word. Then this is the time that you should set yourself so that you can hear from the Lord. Stop being taken up with the storm so that you can get a fresh word from the Lord. Be blessed and thank you for watching.